Okay, here's part two of the Ender 3 V3 SE. Uh, you, part one, I put this all together and it didn't work. And it kept giving me an over temperature alarm. And I, I did send a message to Creality and it did take 10 days to get a reply, but I did get a reply. And of course, they want to see a video of it. Well, I made a video of it, so I sent them the video and they told me what I needed to reboot it and all this, you know, the common stuff they say which didn't work. So I said, you know, been through, done that, experience with this. So they said, well, we need to send you a new hot end. Well, the hot end is not the problem. Where the problem is, I discovered, as I was going to take this apart just to send it back, I got to looking at the very top of it, and here's a picture of what I found. As you can see, that keyway for this, this top plug right here, that keyway is facing me. It should face the back. As I've looked at uh, very, very close-up photos of uh, this printer, so this was assembled backwards. That portion on the top was put in backwards. So what I'm going to do here is take it apart and turn it around and plug it in. And if it works, then we're all good to go. If it doesn't work, then I am going to send this back. Because, uh, as I said, Creality's tech support did reply. It took a long time, and it's a long time between other replies. I know we're in different time zones than that, but, for example, if I send a reply to their message on Monday, I don't get a reply back from them till Wednesday or Thursday. So it's, it's been a couple weeks here. So I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to turn that around, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, right here is the part that's backwards. Um, in looking at other photos of assembly and everything, the keyway that on here, this tab, should face the back. Well, the way this is put together, the keyway is towards the front. As I'll show you after, hopefully I can take this apart easily. Looks like I can. Well, this is the uh, the back retainer. This is going to be fun to do without bending any pins, but that does come up off of there. I think. That's the little retainer clips there. They pop out real easy. Taking my time here so I don't bend any of those pins because they're really, really hard to straighten out if you bend them. Okay, so here's a piece. This is a keyway right here, and that keyway is supposed to be this direction and face the back. So now I've got to put this back together, and while I've got it out of there, I'm going to put the little clips back in. This is not quite as easy as you think it would be to snap them little plastic things back in, but they do go back in. Okay, so now I've got to get this back over those pins and not bend anything. Okay, now that I have that all the way back down there, put my clip back in again. I'll need to put this back on again. Now I'll take this cable and put it with the key towards the back. Actually, a uh, viewer pointed out that the cable was in backwards. That's what led me to uh, do more investigating in it, on it. Okay, I got this all reassembled and the hot end all put back together again, which I know is out of camera view, but got it on the screen here. We'll turn this on and we'll see what we get this time. That looks a lot better. So I need to pick me a language. And Chinese is not my first choice. I can do English or Spanish, but we'll do English. So we got to do some preparing here. First I need to, well, let's go here to leveling. 
and I'll let it do its thing here. Right now it's telling me the nozzle's heating, so I've got a roll end of some filament here. They do send you a sample of filament, but I have a nicely tangled up roll of uh, an end roll here. Yeah, stuck the SD card in there. I've got this thing heating up uh, to load the filament. You just pull back on this little lever right here and push in until it stops. And I've got a little puddle under there now because it's heated up. And it's still doing the auto Z offset in progress, waiting for the nozzle to heat here, I guess. Now it's doing its automatic Z offset self calibration. Okay, it completed its little offset thing there. Now it's going into a leveling mode. Well, if I'm getting screen glare, not off the little screen, but as it goes through and uh, probes the surface, it's putting the values on the screen so you can see them. And it's taking itself back home. Okay, once it's gone through that, you just click on confirm. And we'll go back here to prepare. Preheat PLA. It'll show you your temperatures there. Right now my bed is already at 65 and the nozzle's heating up to, it's going to heat up to 200. Which should be okay. I don't know if this is PLA or PLA plus on here. If it's PLA plus it should really be about 210. But we'll go with the 200. So I will back up, go to print, I stuck the SD card in, and there must not be anything on it. Okay, we'll print the cat, that's what's on there, and we will confirm that. Now, I haven't done anything other than cleaning the bed, I haven't done anything to it. There's no glue on it or anything like that. Of course, it's going through its uh, surface probing routine. I think the print time on this is about an hour or so. I'm not going to obviously video the entire hour of this, but. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my tangled up filament there though, because that uh, end roll there is pretty tangled. But so far so good. Well, as you can see there, it's just chugging right along on that cat. So far everything looks good. This does print quite a bit quicker than the uh, V2 does. We're at 32% right now. Well, I may or may not have enough filament to finish that up there, but everything is looking good. If it runs out, it runs out. It's not a big deal. It's just a little test print. So far, so good. Okay, so if you happen to be right there when it runs out, you can stick some more filament in there. Then you'll end up with uh, orange ears on your white cat. I just happened to be standing by close when uh, I saw it ran out, so I just followed it up with another little scrap of filament. Made it a little bit unique. My test is going to be when I put this into production as soon as I figure out where it's going to live in here. As you can see, I got all 3D printers behind me. I'm kind of running out of space. Plus, I have a uh, Bamboo Labs X1 carb carbon, X, the Bamboo Lab carbon, that, the X1. That's coming here sometime in the next week or two, and that's a pretty good sized unit. I'll need to find a home for that as well. Um, I also have some 3D printers running in the, one of the back rooms of the loft up here, so we'll find a spot for this. Uh, there'll be another video here coming up, probably more than one, after I put this into actual production and let it run 24-7 uh, for a while and a few spools through it, and we'll see how it does. Again, this was not provided to me. I, I bought this and had that little hiccup there with... Uh, Part of that being put together backwards at the factory, but it's been corrected and it's working and I will let Corality know what the situation was and what the problem was. Whether they care or not, I don't know, but I'll, I will let them know. 
So if you get anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.